Hi VC, hello everyone. This is a video I never thought I'd film because I didn't know it was going to happen. This is a... I'm going to call it record update number 22. And although I know it's not the end of the month, this is just a bunch of stuff that I didn't know was going to happen. Okay, what happened was... Okay, just... Because I'm filming this right now. And it's about 10 minutes ago now. My dad um, calls me. My dad says, what do you think? Comes to the living room and says, what do you think? What? Uh, records. What records? They're upstairs. And I was so thankful for this, I had a look through them all actually. Um, what some brilliant stuff, brilliant upgrades to what I, so a lot of stuff, some stuff I already have that I need that I'd like upgrade copies of. Copies of. But which I'm impressed by because they're incredible, macular condition. Um, this is one of my neighbours and apparently people heard that I'm a record collector. <laughs> so, fair play, they said, you know, um, give them, and they said me down to give them give Sean the records. And, well, here's the bag itself. <sighs> um, we've got a lot of stuff in here. Well, this is the stuff in here that I'm not really fussed about. I mean, we've got in here, for example, besides the great stuff I picked out, which is behind me, I've got, you know, we've got the flash down sound which I don't really need. Got out of the blue, uh, which I've already got, of course. Um, Hoist the planets, something's orchestra thing, shadows LP, a symphonic rock thing, eight thunder, which I do know, I know there are eighties man, but no. Electric dreams, twelve inch, which I, yeah. Grenade on D, soundtrack. Yeah, there's a few. Meh, yeah, but there's some stuff that's really good replacements for stuff I've already got. And there's a few other ones in here. For example, um, there's a really nice copy of an album I've already got. This is from the bag, by the way. It's Kate Bush, The Whole Story. I've already got this, but if I didn't have it, I'd, I'd put it in the collection. But, you know, it's the same copy, really, in the one I've already got. And this has a bit of scuff inside. Besides that, it's in immaculate condition. I might just keep it because they're in really good condition. But, you know, there's other stuff, for example, there's stuff in the bag, which I'm not really, don't really want anymore, because I've already got. Uh, there's any here in here, which I don't really want. So, I've like never heard of. Phantom of the Opera soundtracks in here. Best of Kim Wilde, which I don't really want. Um, there is a copy of Elton John's Too Low for Zero in here. But, again, uh, I already... I already own that. I, no, I already, I've already gotten rid of it. But the rest of the stuff in, in the collection is top-notch stuff that I'm going to show off. First I'm going to show off the the new editions, sort of. So first we have um, Dire Straits Brothers in Arms. I used to own this. I bought it for £5 in cancer research a few years ago. And I've always said to myself, I'm going to buy it again when I see it for nice condition copy. And this one was in, this is one's in, this one, you know, has the lyric sheet in it, which was a must have for me. And the vinyl is, from the looks of it, looks in quite good condition, good shape. Um, but these are like, you know, I don't have, I used to own this, but I gave it away because it was in, never the lyrics with it. So yeah, there we go. Then we have this, now this one I may keep, this is Elton John um, Love Songs and this just has already just late 70s to like early 80s love songs by Sir Elton, by, by Elton. You know, you've got Blue Eyes, uh, Little Genie and Satorial Eloquence, Satorial Eloquence are the two ones I'm really interested in, along with Chloe and Elton's song. Both of them, those, those are from the albums 21 and 33 and The Fox, which are two very underrated Elton John albums and probably the last great stuff he did, um, studio-wise. So yeah, another one, I'm sorry, that was a sleeve that came in. Another one which I'm really happy to add to the collection is this, another, another Dire Straits one here, Dire Straits Love Over Gold. I don't have this again on vinyl, and, it, and I used to own it, but it was in matte condition, this one's in pretty good condition, the looks of it. I don't know how, how are these plagues, I haven't tested them out yet. So there'll probably be an update on that. Just tell me in the comments. Just ask me in the comment section. Play well. This was an interesting one. Propaganda Duel. So you know me, 
uh, love, I do love ZTT, and therefore, yes, awesome, this is definitely staying in my collection. Um, propaganda or a, do, or a band, a really good band. Um, two singers looked alike, mm -hmm. kind of. But yeah, it's produced by ZTT, so that's all, that's all they got to say for me. Um, oh, that's an upgrade, never mind. Uh, this one's, this is a band that the 80s, which a lot of people tell me, you know, pretty good. Now look at the set, look at the back of this now, it's got some good songs on it, some I actually know. Huey Lewis and the News, 4A. Now, I'm not, I like Huey Lewis and the News, just haven't bothered to check out their music. So yeah, you've got some really good tracks on this album. Looks, I mean, I, I only know, um, hit, tracks I know are Stuck With You, um, and, oh, The Power Of Love's on here, brilliant. Brilliant, okay, yeah. So we've got um, Stuck With You, Power Of Love, and um, Hips To Be Square. I, I, I like, of course, I love the song Power Of Love. The poster, which is on the other side, is the Back To The Future one, so yeah, that says it all. <laughs> this one's quite interesting. This is the best of the Electric Light Orchestra. Um, I've got two yellow records, but I thought, yeah, this is quite cool to have in the collection. It's got all the hits on it, which is quite nice. So yeah, that'll do for me for Electric Light Orchestra. Really. This is another really good one to have the collection. It's another compilation. It's the best of Blondie. Um, yeah, it's just got all the hits on it. You've got Heart of Glass, Denise, Tide is High, In the Flesh, Sunday Girl, Dreaming, Hang on the Telephone, Rapture, Picture This, Unity Blue, um, I Always Touched Your Presence Dear, Call Me Atomic, and Rip Her, sh Rip Her to Shreds. So yeah, it's all the hits from Blondie. Oh yeah, that's quite, that's quite nice, yeah. Mm. This next one here is pretty cool. It is Queen Life Magic. I understand that a lot of this stuff is very heavily edited, um, which I absolutely understand, but a nice addition to the collection, and I love the photo. This is a really good condition record. Um, oh yeah. It, I, know, I know it's heavily edited, I know that. Which is a huge shame. But yeah, it's Queen. I've got to have some more Queen in the collection, because I'm nearly complete on them. And I'll show off the LP to this. Queen Live Magic. Pardon me. Sorry. Yeah. And the last new one addition to the collection is The Cream of Eric Clapton. This is a Eric, this is of course an Eric Clapton compilation, and a really good one. It's got stuff with Derek and the Dominoes, Cream, and his solo stuff. Shit. Yeah. Quite awesome. It's on Polydor record. Polydor, yeah, Polydor. And these next ones are the sort of the replacement copies, maybe. But some of these will be, for example, Queen of the Works. The cover is better than the one I've got, so I'm I'm keeping it basically, I'm keeping it. The cover is in better shape. I'll look again with this one, David Bowie Let's Dance. Um, not my favourite Bowie arm, but it's Bowie. Mm. So, but I, I do like this one, but yeah, it's staying in the, it's going to replace my, my rubbish copy of it. My co copy which has a bit of wear and tear to it. Along with this next one, one of my favourite live albums ever, Elton John Live in Australia. I can do a whole video on this album. I love it to death. Still upset that they didn't, you know, release uh, for years to use inside this thing, but whatever. Great album. Another replacement, no jacket required. Everyone knows this album, I don't need to explain it. It's a classic 80s album. Another one I've got in my collection is the best of the the very the best of the Eagles. I have a pretty poor copy of this, but this is a quite a better conditional. And there's a seven inch in here. Oh, there's a seven inch in here of Dusty Springfield. In private. Now I'm keep. I know I might keep this because 
I understand this was produced by, yes, two people who I will talk about in a minute. Something else in this thing. I feel like something jamming it a bit. No. I thought there was something in the record, sorry. Now these last two are immaculate. They're two brilliant records by great great artists. And they've something to do with the Dusty Springfield in private single. These are two stunning replacement copies for the two albums by the Pet Shop Boys. So the first two albums we have. First, brilliant debut album, we have Please. This is an amazing copy in I'm guessing immaculate condition. I am right. Yes. No sit seam splits or anything. Brilliant. Really happy to reown to own a cleaner copy of one of my favourite albums of all time. Along with actually, because I've never been able to find a nicer looking copy than this one. A great replacement. So yeah. Oh, you know, this has made my day, this. But yeah. So yeah, that's amazing, that's incredible, I'm so happy. And um, I'm gonna say thank you to them when I see them, of course. So yeah, that was it, that was a uh, record update number 22. Um, and this video, I'm probably gonna title it, title it, Good, Repla Good Replacement Cop. Good Replacement Copies or something like that, or or a bag full. Um, so some of this stuff, I don't know what I'm gonna, I don't know what's gonna happen with it. Um, I don't know. It depends on them if they want it back. Um, if, they, if they want me to take it to charity shops, might do. Um, yes, but some of my old copies of some of this stuff that I've got here, which is in quite decent condition, I may send out. So yes, um, some of these anyway. Some of these I won't. But some, but all these are really just all been replaced. Some of these I've already got, of course, which I said, and they may go out to some of you people. You never know. But yeah, that was it, guys. Thank you. Tune in next week for another record update. Um, tune in soon, sorry, for another record update. Bye-bye.